Hello class, in this video I want to take a look at the windows or the glass in your house and maybe enhance them a little bit. See, I always find that it's pretty much a struggle for 3D modelers and rendering engines to do glass well. Um, you can see I, I've used a rendering engine, Enscape in this case, to get the glass and it looks okay. You can sort of see some reflections because that's where during the daytime you'd see reflections of what's around you. At night, it's usually better because if you, you can add your own lighting to the software and it'll have it glow and that's fine. But for daytime renderings, you know, it just doesn't usually do grass all that great. And then if you're just using SketchUp without any rendering engine, the glass is definitely going to look pretty fake. I think in either case, you can enhance them through the same trick that I'm going to show you now. And so what I'm going to do is, or what I've already done is I've already gone online and downloaded a photograph of what I think the view is from the other side of my building. By that I mean, we're gonna show window reflections. So it's like what's behind us from as a viewer, what might be out there. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be the real thing, it just has to have the sense of what's out there. So I've chosen this image in my case because it's got a mountain in the distance, some trees and grass, a nice sky and all that stuff. Um, you can really find anything that, that, that you want to use there. And I'm just gonna copy it over. So Control A to select it, Control C to copy, come over to my drawing and control V to paste. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up over my building. We're gonna cut a lot of this out here in a moment, but I'm gonna do control T for scale. And in this case, I definitely wanna stay at the corner to keep it proportional and just make sure it covers all your glass areas. Um, you know, you might go bigger. In my case, I'm just thinking I'm gonna go bigger because I wanna see some sky. Um, and I also wanna see some of this stuff. So I wanna, I wanna make sure I can approximate that this height is somewhere in the middle of my building, just so I see sky and ground in the same image. So I'm just gonna place it there. We can make these adjustments later as well. I'm just thinking ahead. So something like this, okay? Now what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, there's lots of different ways of doing what I'm about to do, as is usually the case in Photoshop. I'm gonna use uh, mask and show you how that tool works. It's a good way to do this particular trick. Mask allows you to show some of the layer and hide some of the layer. So we wanna only show it where there's windows. And to make a mask, you're gonna stay on the layer. I'll click and change the layer name to call it windows, okay? And I'm gonna hit this button here, which is your layer mask button. You can see it's added a second square right here. Anything that's white, it means show it all. Anything that's black means block it out. So we essentially wanna start by, I'm gonna start by blocking it all out. So I'm just gonna do Control A, I'm going to go to Edit Fill, and I'm going to change the contents to black and say OK. It changes the square to black, and you can see it means it's blocking out all the windows right now. And that's perfectly fine. It's going to take a couple steps. I'm going to do Control D to deselect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my building closely, and I'm going to start selecting all the glass planes. So I like to use Polygon Lasso tool to do this. Again, you might see your regular Lasso tool. If you do, just click and hold to get the Polygon Lasso tool. And then come into any window to where there's glass, click a corner, pull down, click again, click again, click again, and click over. So it ends, comes a, a trail like this and keep going, adding more glass. To add more glass, you wanna make sure you click this button, which is add to selection set. Go to your next piece of glass. Do not get frames, right? So we do need to take some time. You might be able to use the magic wand tool on some of these. That might be perfectly fine as well if you can get it, but there's lots of color variation in here for me, so I'm doing it this way. And uh, you can use any selection tool you want in combination. So I could use the polygon lasso tool for here, but if I said, well, let me, let me see what happens if I use magic wand. Make sure you have samples all layers on. In this case, you can try. Yeah, see, it, it just didn't work well because of the color variation. So I'm gonna do Control Z to undo and go back to Polygon Lasso Tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going around. I've got lots more windows to do, but you do not need to see me doing this boring step. You just do it yourself and I'll cut back into the video when I'm done selecting my windows. Okay, so you can see I've got all my window areas selected just like this. I'm still on my clipping mask over here, and I'm gonna go Edit, Fill, and I'm gonna change my contents to white and say okay. And when I do that, we see little white dots here, and what we do is they're revealing that background image that I have on that layer just in those locations, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Control-D to deselect. 
I'm going to go back over to my main layer by clicking on it. And, and in this case, I'm going to unlock it or unlink it, I should say, by clicking that button right here. Because now I can go and move and I can move that background image wherever I want to get it, um, you know, reflecting whatever I want it to reflect the most. I can also scale it, control T uh, in this case, and, and really change it as you want. Um, to get some nice reflections in there. You know, maybe we see the mountain off the top of there, a tree there, some sky there. That looks good, and I will go with it. So just a few more steps to get this window uh, looking its best. Usually the reflections aren't as pure bright just like this because you sort of see beyond it. While it reflects a lot of the light, you still see into it a little bit. That makes the reflections darker, so we can make that change. We can go to Image adjustments. I'm going to do it through hue saturation, I think, because I can just go to the, the, the lightness and take this down. Um, you know, sometimes the brights are still pretty bright, so you can try different things. There's no one right answer. Um, as I'm looking at it, as I do it, which is what you always have to do, I think some levels, going to level adjustments might work as well. Levels is going to allow me to sort of make the brights brighter without making the darks darker. I can, I can make the darks darker. Uh, with that as well by going like this. So I can get sort of both extremes, which happens with reflection. So I'll go ahead and do that just like that. And that's looking pretty good. You know, you could do other things um, with this. You know, one thing I might do because I had an Enscape rendering, if I provide a little bit of transparency with it too, I'm gonna start to see some of the reflections and shadowing that happened along in that original rendering, which is just going to make it look even more realistic. And I'm not going to do this for this assignment, but something else you could do, you could get images of, let's say, a living room, just any living room that you thought was representative of this architecture, and you could paste it on a layer below in this area and just cut it out for the windows and then have the reflections be transparency so you could get like an image of a couch or a person sitting in, in there reading a book or whatever the case might be. Um, and that would make this look even more realistic if you wanted to go ahead and do that. But you do those few simple techniques, and now my windows are really looking pretty nice. Again, it works with any rendering engine, even SketchUp, to really enhance your drawing to make it look even better. So while it takes some time, I think it's a good effect. Uh, and never be afraid of enhancing your drawing. Never be afraid of knowing that I'm smarter than a computer. I can make it look better knowing these few, few simple tricks. So... Uh, Good job with this step, and I'll see you in the next video.